Hello everybody, in this video we're going to teach you how to add variations to multiple products with WooCommerce Bulk Variations Editing Plugin. Alright, let's jump right in. Suppose that you have added some simple products under the clothing and hoodies categories to your online store and now you need to add some variations to them. Now, the first thing you need to do is to click on the filter icon right here then navigate to the category slash tag slash taxonomies tab and in the product categories field select or for the first combo box and in the box next to it select clothing and hoodies now since I want to filter simple products I'm gonna go to the type tab and select simple products now if I click on get products uh, you will see that they appear in the product table okay the next thing you need to do is select the products by clicking on them in the table then click on manage variations from the toolbar to open the variations bulk edit form in this form you can see that you have access to all the attributes which are listed in separate boxes on the right side of the form as an example let's add all variations generated by color and size attributes to those products in order to do that uh, for the color attributes you need to click on the blue and the green check boxes and see uh, as a result the used for variations and visible on the product page will be checked automatically. And now for the size attribute, you need to check the large and small boxes. Now if you click on the generate button, there will be four items. But since our goal was to assign variables to all selected products, let's select all variations. As you can see, all possible variations are listed. You can change the order of variations and check or uncheck each variation to add or remove from the list. Okay, let's uncheck the last one and click on generate variations. Click on yes, I'm sure. And there you go. We have successfully made all the variations. Now, let's check the individual variation. The individual variation option is a perfect solution when you don't need to add all generated variations to the products. So, let's generate a new individual variation and select green for the color and large for the size. Click on the add button and the new variation is added. Now, let's see how we can add variations to existing variable products. Let's consider that you need to replace or add red as a new variation to variable products from the clothing category. Specifically, we'll demonstrate how to filter products in the clothing category that do not have the color red assigned as a variation. Okay, firstly, you're going to click on the filter icon and navigate to the category slash tag slash taxonomy tab. In the product category section, select clothing. Then for the product color in the first combo box, select not in and select red for the box next to it. And then click on get products to see the filtered results in the product table. And there you have it. The product table now displays the variable products in the clothing category that do not have the color red assigned as a variation. Okay, now we're going to show you how to select variable products. Let's select some of the products. And click on manage variations. Select red in the color attribute box and click on generate button. 
If you click on all variations or all products, red will be replaced by all the previous variations and a new ID will be assigned to this new variation. Now, keep in mind that sometimes it's important to keep the ID of previous variations. In order to do this, you have to assign new variations to each product. So, you can use the navigator to choose the product you want. Then click on generate and select the all variations option. All you need to do now is click on generate variations. As you can see in the table below, red has been added to the green and blue and the ID of the variable product remained the same.